God is so good to us. He's such a loving, heavenly Father. Jesus loved us. He loved us so much He gave His life for us. The Holy Spirit reveals His love to us and is a loving Spirit. And I believe God has a love message for some of you watching this program right now. Now listen to me closely. This scripture helped me with this very day and it's 1 Corinthians 15, 57. It says, Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Every one of us needs some victories. Am I right? <laughs> I'm always needing some. You are too. But I believe we need to get hold of God's Word because that's the faith that brings the evidence of the victory. So you say, well, I'm one of those people who really needs a quick one today. Listen, call us. We don't counsel, but we would love to have you call us and pray with you. And again, remember, when we pray together, that's when God really does things. There's such power in agreement. Pick up the phone. Don't go into a lot of detail, but get your prayer for today. I'm so excited to be with you today. I'm so excited you're watching this program because really this is a big time for me because I get to share with you something that is so passionate on my heart in this time and that is how we can reach the Muslims. You say, well, do you think we should reach them? Look at all the negative things. Oh yeah, I'm very well aware of all the news, but folks, one-fifth of the world's population is Muslim. And God so loved the world. Did He drop that one-fifth? I don't believe that. I believe He wants them to know. Now, what they do with the knowledge is in their ball court. But for us to see that they get it is in our ball court because He loves them. And now we have them living next door to us. We have mosques in our cities, in our towns. Uh, we go to the grocery store. Women have their heads covered. I get on planes, run into women with their heads covered. And I, I just love them. I have a love in my heart for them because God loves them and wants to reveal Jesus to them. Now, when I began praying over this was some years ago, but the process of manifestation has just been wonderful. And I began to say, I'd like to have a healing meeting in a mosque. Well, now, wait a minute. No woman has ever spoken in a mosque for 1,400 years, plus not a Christian woman. But you know how God is? <laughs> I love this about God. He just thinks you can do anything. And he began to put that in my heart. And God opened a door for me to have a healing meeting in a mosque in Dearborn, Detroit. And this beautiful imam, what is an imam, uh, the leader of a mosque. I went to see him several times and asked him. At first he said no, but then I went to his house for dinner with his wife and he said, I think we can do it. And he is an imam from Iran and God gave me favor with him and we had a healing meeting in his mosque. You say, wow, and he let me video it and I want you to see what went on. You say, well, did you compromise your message? No, no. I just read one of the miracles of Jesus right from the Bible and prayed for the sick. And you know, the Word produces results. And so we had people with healings and miracles that night. It was a wonderful time. And we had more than one imam because we had a dinner for them afterwards. And we had other imams there too. And a lot of these imams are what we call Shiite Muslims that are in Dearborn. There are 250,000 Muslims in Dearborn. Should we just look the other way and say they're not here? Or should we build a bridge and reach out to them? I believe Jesus built bridges. If you read the Gospels, I'm sure you have probably many times, look at all the places Jesus hung out with unusual people the tax collectors, the prostitutes, the people nobody liked. Jesus was always hanging out with them. Folks, I believe we need to reach out. We don't have to go to Pakistan like I have been six times. We got them right now on our territory. Should they hear about Jesus? Oh, yes. I want you to watch this special healing meeting 
in Detroit. You will just love it. Maryland Hickey Ministries has always had great favor and success ministering to Muslims, especially in their home countries. In June 2009, Imam Elahi of the Islamic House of Wisdom in Dearborn, Michigan, invited Maryland to speak at an interfaith healing meeting. Let us warmly welcome Dr. Hickey to the podium. This opportunity was an answer to one of Maryland's longtime prayers. She was thrilled to be able to pray together and minister in one of the most influential mosques in the country and express the love of Jesus to many people of different faiths. Miracles are for everyone. I believe God has a miracle with your name on it tonight. And I want you to put faith in God. So listen as I read this account, beautiful account of Jesus, when he comes to a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, which really means house of mercy. And it had five porches. And there lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, uh, waiting for the moving of the water. During the evening healing service, Marilyn spoke on the healing power of Jesus. It was a time of sharing our faith and praying in the name of Jesus for anyone in the crowd who needed healing. It was awesome to see Christians and Muslims praying for one another. One man in attendance who was having back problems and pain for several years came forward to testify that he could move more freely with much less pain. Okay. I want you to do one more thing. I want you to put up both your hands and say bye-bye pain. Bye-bye pain. You're not coming back. A Muslim boy with vision problems came forward to testify that he could see better, even without his glasses. Following the healing meeting, Marilyn attended a reception where she was able to meet many of those who attended and had the opportunity to pray with several people. The next day, Marilyn sat down with Imam Elahi for a one-on-one -on -one interview, which was videotaped and broadcast on her daily television program. She talked to him about his vision for Interfaith Bridge Building. And so you have Jewish people involved, you have Christians, and of course Muslims exactly. coming together. And that is really, really exciting to see it that. It is. It is. Uh, the, basically, the community is a Muslim community here, but we have in our neighborhood so many churches, and we have monthly meetings with the church leaders, and we share so many uh, moments of, of joy and uh, education and communication and a dialogue and interfaith interaction, so many things going on in this community that uh, is so exciting. So you're building bridges, not destroying them. Exactly. That and is. That's your heart and your passion, isn't it? At a special dinner that evening, Marilyn met many local leaders, including a Catholic priest who was born again and spirit filled, a Jewish rabbi who loves God, and many Muslim leaders. At the dinner, Marilyn presented Imam and his wife a copy of the Jesus Revealed Bible and challenged them to read the four Gospels. It was a night of divine connections and favor. Four books in these Bibles of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And these Bibles are from our ministry. I want to read it again because I have read it one time. Good. We believe this was a monumental bridge building event for this ministry and our country. Please continue to pray for open doors into other Muslim nations that we can show them the love and compassion of Jesus as we continue to cover the earth with the word. Now available, Maryland's latest book, Dinner with Muhammad. Maryland has always had great favor with Islamic leaders and countries, and over the past 30 years, she has built bridges of friendship with people and places no other Christian evangelist has ever dreamed of. God has miraculously opened doors to conduct record-breaking healing meetings in Muslim countries like Pakistan and Egypt with amazing results. This book will show you how Islamic government and military leaders as well as clerics have assisted Maryland and her team while in these various countries. How masses of people have responded to the word of God and prayer on their Islamic home soil. How God has opened doors in miraculous ways allowing Maryland to conduct public events like no one else has ever been allowed. You will be encouraged and inspired by the amazing book of bridge building and friendship.
Receive this groundbreaking book for a special gift of $12. Call or click to receive this very special offer. Isn't that astounding what God did right here in our nation in Dearborn, Michigan? I, I just love God. He loves to do the impossible. Don't limit him for what he has in your life. Maybe you're looking at a very impossible situation. Call us for prayer. Let's join our faith together and let's see God do a miracle for you. I think anytime we see miracles in other people's lives, it's the same loving Heavenly Father. He doesn't have pets. He loves us. So call us for prayer. Not counsel, but call us for prayer. Now I want to share some other things with you that God has opened some of the most unusual doors for me in Muslim countries, and I've been able to give their presidents and their dictators a Bible. And we had a, a great meeting in Khartoum, Sudan. Now, you hear the news probably, you watch the news on Sudan. The northern part is the uh, radical Islamic part. The southern has quite a bit of Christians in it. But the north part is the radical part. And so several years ago, God put it on my heart to go there. Everybody said, you can't. They'll never let you do a meeting. But we did. It was wonderful. We had unusual miracles. But I wanted to go back. And I tried and tried, couldn't get a visa, couldn't get in. But you know, I don't believe in giving up. In due season, we shall reap if we don't faint. I don't believe you're a fainter. If you feel like you're fainting, call us for prayer. But I just thought, keep praying, keep believing God. And we got in. And this was our biggest meeting. Because when we got in before, we had maybe 10,000 at the most. But in this meeting, we had 65,000 people who came the last night. We had four nights of meetings. Now, let me share. Of course, they have a dictator, you know, that is radical. And we sent a Bible to him. I always like to do that to leaders of nations because I believe maybe some way they will read it. We did one to President Abbas, the president of Palestine. We also gave him a Bible. I was in a dinner with him and we got to minister in Bethlehem. So when I share this with you, folks, if we'll just be warm and friendly and pray, these Muslims are all around us. They've moved on our territory. You don't have to go to Sudan with me. You don't have to go to Pakistan. You say, I don't want to go anyway. They're too dangerous. But you have neighbors probably that are Muslim now. You see these beautiful women all wrapped with their heads covered in grocery stores. Be friendly to them. Reach out to them. Have coffee with them. You know, I, I have found, folks, when Jesus brings them right here to us, let's love them and let's be a part of it. Now, in Sudan, this is the largest Christian meeting ever held in Khartoum. And we had four nights. The first night we had, I think, 37,000 people. But when the miracles and the healings begin to occur, see, it pulls the crowds because the Quran says that Jesus heals the sick. And we call this a family conference because there's a lot of emphasis on family. So we kind of cook with what the nation is doing. And so people came for their families. They wanted their family to be healed. And when we would give a call, and you will see this in just a few minutes, for people to receive Jesus, I mean, thousands of people rushed down out of the stands to receive Jesus Christ. And the miracles, you know, miracles of people who were born with no hear hearing, miracle of people who could not see and God opened their eyes, Miracles of growth especially disappearing. And what is it? It's not my name. It's the name of Jesus. Don't worry and say, well, I'm not a healing evangelist. I can't pray for them. God said believers would lay hands on the sick and they would recover. Are you a believer? You're born again? You have Jesus in your heart? Hey, come on. Use that hope of glory in you to build bridges to others. This is so important. And you say, well, they are our enemies. That's true. There is a percentage that certainly are. But Jesus said to love our enemies. There's great reward in loving them and praying for them. And remember, God loves them. When one-fifth of the world's population is Muslim, and you're going to say, well, he, he doesn't love that fifth. Wrong. He so loves the world. 
So watch this with an open heart and know that God can do anything. God is using Marilyn Hickey Ministries in dynamic and powerful ways around the world. Backed by the support of our partners and friends, Marilyn returned to Sudan in December 2007. Ten years ago, Marilyn ministered in this Muslim nation that has been racked by a civil war that continues to this day. Thousands have been killed and millions driven from their homes into disease-ridden refugee camps. Despite the danger and restricted access to outsiders, her desire has been to return to Sudan and continue her work there. After three years of paperwork and miracle breakthroughs, Marilyn and her small team of pastors arrived in the capital city of Khartoum. Marilyn hosted a welcome dinner for government officials, Christian pastors and leaders, and their wives. This was followed by a four-day pastors and leaders conference that took place outside under brightly colored tents. Marilyn's call and anointing to minister to the Muslim world was evident as thousands of pastors and leaders came every day to hear teaching on finances, how to heal the sick, breaking generational curses, and church growth. She blessed each one with a copy of one of her books in their language and personally anointed 4,000 pastors and leaders, preparing them for ministry at the evening healing meetings. For the first time ever, a Christian meeting was held in a public stadium in Sudan. The four-night event steadily increased, from 37,000 the first night to more than 65,000 the closing night. Each night when Marilyn gave the call, thousands left their seats and flooded the field to receive Christ and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. With the help of an interpreter, Marilyn taught on the healing miracles of Jesus. Each night, the healing power of God began to touch those in need. A woman who had a huge growth on her arm saw it completely disappear. A woman suffering hearing loss from a concussion two and a half years ago was able to hear clearly again. A young man who'd been deaf for four years could now hear clearly. A woman could bend and sit for the first time in two years without any pain. A man unable to stand for five years without assistance ran freely across the stage. A woman suffering from two and a half years of severe arthritis rejoiced as she could bend, squat, and move freely. A 10-year-old was pain-free after suffering from kidney stones. A man who'd been deaf in his right ear for 23 years received his hearing. The impact of this event exceeded all Maryland's expectations. God is pouring out His Spirit on the Muslim world in unprecedented ways. And Maryland Hickey Ministries, through your prayers and financial support, is privileged to be part of this mighty move of God. We are so excited because we get to visit Greece and Rome this fall, and we want you to come with us. When we're in Greece, we get to see Mars Hill, lots and lots of other very cool historical places. And in Rome, we get to go to the Colosseum, we get to go to the Sistine Chapel. Mom, amazing things. This is gonna be a very powerful trip. And while we are there, we are going to get to see the Pope because he comes out and gives a special address. I've never gotten to do that. I've been to Rome, I don't know how many times, how special that is going to be. And when you do Bible teaching in Rome and Greece, I mean, the Bible's full of it. The book of Acts is full of it. And you will see things I've never seen in both places, right. both Rome and Greece. We have an agenda that is just shocking and wonderful. Now, what do you need to do? You need to get on the phone, get on our website, 
get the brochure, put it in your Bible, start praying over it, and invite others to go with you. This would be a trip of a lifetime. Now available, Maryland's latest book, Dinner with Muhammad. Maryland has always had great favor with Islamic leaders and countries, and over the past 30 years, she has built bridges of friendship with people and places no other Christian evangelist has ever dreamed of. God has miraculously opened doors to conduct record-breaking healing meetings in Muslim countries like Pakistan and Egypt with amazing results. This book will show you how Islamic government and military leaders, as well as clerics, have assisted Maryland and her team while in these various countries. How masses of people have responded to the Word of God and prayer on their Islamic home soil. How God has opened doors in miraculous ways, allowing Maryland to conduct public events like no one else has ever been allowed. You will be encouraged and inspired by the amazing book of bridge building and friendship. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Receive this groundbreaking book for a special gift of $12. Call or click to receive this very special offer. Everyone loves miracles. You know, when you think of the healings and the way God has provided maybe finances in an unusual way or healed a relationship, it's a miracle. And you think, oh, and I love to share that. That's so encouraging. And I want to share miracles with you to encourage you to receive more miracles. I want to share my new book with you called Dinner with Muhammad. I believe this book is a must for you because I just share, oh, all these wonderful miracles that happen in these Islamic countries and can happen in our country with the Muslims. You say, well, tell me, what are some of those? And there isn't beginning enough time on television to tell you all that. But this book will not only help you to receive miracles, but it will help you to build bridges to perhaps the Muslims in your own city. It will help you to pray in a new way. And it's a book anyone would enjoy. So don't just order one for yourself. You know, we give people flowers, they wilt, we give them candy, we make them fat. But if you give them God's Word, and there's plenty of God's Word in this book, you can change their lives. It can be such a wonderful gift. So I encourage you, get the book, sit down and read the book. Underline, there are some special chapters in there that will just deal with miracles. And you will hear others just testifying. When you read the book, it'll be like you hear them saying, what happened to them and how their life was dramatically changed. And we all need dramatic changes. But you know, I think too, sometimes we're so afraid to talk to people about Jesus. And especially when they have the beautiful head coverings and everything, we think, oh, you know, do they speak English? Can I really say something? Will I be accepted? And this book will help you share Jesus in a wonderful way. And when I get to lead someone to Christ, I'm telling you, it's almost as good as when I got saved. It's a highlight of my life, and sometimes on airplanes. You know, I've witnessed and prayed with Muslims. I had a man one time who said, what's the prayer you prayed that got you turned on? <laughs> and I got to pray with him to receive Jesus as his Savior. You say, well, how do you do that? How do you do that? And I'm telling you, this is a how-to book. How to receive miracles, how to give miracles, how to win the lost, how to see the Muslims as God sees them. One-fifth of the world's population is Islamic. So we say God didn't love one-fifth of the world. He loved the world, but he dropped one-fifth. Oh, no. Oh, no. He loves the world. And I'm telling you, you'll get a compassion. It'll put a fire in you. You'll feel the presence of God when you read this book. There's such a special anointing on it that I'm telling you, it'll rattle your cage. It'll shake you up. You must get dinner with Mohammed. And it says, I like this, a surprising look at a beautiful friendship. Can we have friends that are lost? Can we bridge into these people that God has plopped right in our town, maybe next door to you? Can we? Is it possible? Is the way they eat and their, their customs and even their language impossible for us to reach them? No, no, it is not impossible. When you read this book, an anointing will come on you that's fresh and new. When you read this book, the presence of the Holy Spirit will anoint you. 
really, and send you as a wonderful bridge builder. Now available, Maryland's latest book, Dinner with Muhammad. Maryland has always had great favor with Islamic leaders and countries, and over the past 30 years, she has built bridges of friendship with people and places no other Christian evangelist has ever dreamed of. God has miraculously opened doors to conduct record-breaking healing meetings in Muslim countries like Pakistan and Egypt with amazing results. This book will show you how Islamic government and military leaders as well as clerics have assisted Marilyn and her team while in these various countries. How masses of people have responded to the Word of God and prayer on their Islamic home soil. How God has opened doors in miraculous ways allowing Marilyn to conduct public events like no one else has ever been allowed. You will be encouraged and inspired by the amazing book of bridge building and friendship. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Receive this groundbreaking book for a special gift of $12. Call or click to receive this very special offer. Healing is the bread of the children. That's what Jesus said. And when we really read the Gospels, we see that Jesus not only died for our sins, but he also took our sicknesses, and by his stripes we are healed. Today, you may be hurting in your body. You may have afflictions, who knows what kinds, maybe arthritis, maybe you've inherited physical weaknesses, uh, maybe you have eye problems, ear problems, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, who knows what you might have, but Jesus wants you whole. And when you read New Testament, it always is constantly saying that you would be made whole. And Paul identifies it, spirit, soul, and body. So Jesus not only wants to come into your heart to make you whole in your spirit, but also whole in your mind, your emotions, and in your physical body. And I want to pray with you the promise. And I'm going to use Psalm 10720. I love this scripture. I use it on television. I use it in healing crusades. I use it on one-to-one and it works, it works, it works. It's Psalm 10720. It says, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all their destructions. So put your hand on top of your head because you may have more than one. And we're going to send the word. Father, in the name of Jesus, I send the word into this body that heals it and delivers it from every destruction the devil has planned for it. In Jesus' name, I speak to you and I say, be whole. Receive your healing. Look for your healing. Don't look for your sickness and thank him for it. 